Hello, my friends. If you've been part of this channel for a while, you know that I don't really talk about anything political. And the reason for that is that I don't really fit into any political category. But I have been having a strong feeling that Andrew Yang will be our president in 2020. This is mostly just an intuition, but <laughs> we'll see if I'm right or not. <laughs> but here's the thing. This is the first time, I'm still studying him, but this is the first time I've seen a presidential candidate that I think has a real possibility of being elected and also is talking about making fundamental change in our system. Now, if you go to his website, you will see on the policies he describes, there is more stuff that he goes over than I've ever seen anybody go over on their site before. He covers such a wide range of issues that we're facing as a nation. And one of the biggest running points on his platform is this idea of creating a universal basic income. There's lots of ways to look at this and there's ways to criticize it and approve of it, but the taxation that happens right now, most of that taxation really is going back into government programs. And this is a way for that taxation, a large chunk of that taxation to come directly to the people instead of to the government. And this would be to the tune of a thousand dollars per adult per month. And if you think about that for a moment, I know that a lot of you out there really struggle with money. In rewilding circles, we sometimes call it wage slavery. This idea that our culture is kind of designed to take most of us and get us into a state of debt. And then we just work our whole lives struggling to make up for that continual debt. And for a lot of us, it's month to month. Rebecca and I have been there many, many times in our life, month to month, just trying to make ends meet. And when I think of uh, our various patrons that we have through PayPal and Patreon, those of you that are, are supporting us, you know, I hear from you guys sometimes, I really wish I could give more than a couple dollars a month, but I'm completely strapped. That's the reality for a lot of people out there. And you wonder, what would you do with $1,000 extra per month? For a lot of people, that would make an incredible difference. Start to think about what that would do with homelessness. Start to think about what that would do for that single mother that's working two and a half jobs and struggling trying to just <laughs> get food on the table. And I'd love to hear in the comments what you would do with that extra money per month. Because what I often hear from people is that you have something inside of you. You want to be a musician. But you are working so hard at these two jobs, trying to pay for this and this and this, and just trying to struggle to keep up, that you have no energy, no time to devote to the thing you're passionate about. And what I see is that a universal basic income would have the potential to start to unleash some of that. To say, hey, you don't need to live like a king or queen, but you have a gift. And that gift has not been able to get out to the world because you've been in this constant state of wage slavery. Now, what is your gift and how could you restructure your life if you had that money, free and clear, $1,000 extra a month per adult in your household, if you had that extra money to be a cushion for you, to give you room to explore, to say, hey, okay, I can, I can finally buy a guitar and I can start to play again. Because, you know, you had that old crappy guitar and it finally broke and you haven't been able to replace it. What is it that you would do with that extra thousand a month? And I think if I know 
the people that watch this channel, we're going to hear some pretty interesting things. The other thing that's happening here is that when Andrew Yang talks about restructuring our government, he's talking about restructuring it in a way that it is not... I mean, the way I see it, it's almost basically all about money right now. We measure our national health by gross national product, a monetary measurement. But it has nothing to do with... Now, there's some other countries that have... Uh, where is it? Burma? I don't know what it is that measures gross national happiness. And Andrew Yang, instead of GNP, has a whole host of measures. Our, our mental health, our, how well our children are doing in school, how many people are dealing with substance abuse. I'm not sure, but it wouldn't surprise me if there'd be a subjective measure of happiness in there. The point with that is that it's about starting to look at our government as something that's not about keeping money flowing, but keeping human potential flowing. You know that's what this channel is all about. And I want to say that we could start to envision a world together where this is about human potential being unleashed where we start to say our value as a human being is not how much money we make, but how much good we're doing in the world, how much beauty we're giving to the world. That might mean you're just playing your music and, and you're recording it and you're giving that out to the world. And that enriches some lives. The way I always thought about this channel, if I could touch one life and make a difference in one life, then all this would be worthwhile. And now I get to hear all the time that I'm touching hundreds of lives, probably thousands and more than I think. <laughs> Your music, that could be doing the same thing. Your artwork. Your desire to become a medical professional. Your desire to become a builder and build houses that make sense in our environment your desire to become a life coach and to help people find more joy and happiness in their lives. I want us to start right now envisioning a world that's different. For so long, we've been caught in this idea that this world is just this juggernaut. It's going on without us and we make no difference. But it's only made up of humans. This human-created world is made up of humans. We are writing the story, each one of us as an individual. And so whether Andrew Yang is elected president or not, and how that would turn out, because who knows if it would be a good or a bad thing, right? There's that old Zen story. But here is somebody finally talking about some fundamental change. And I think of each of us, if we start thinking about the world in a fundamentally different way, if we start thinking, how can we give to the world, give our gifts to the world? How can we reach out to our neighbors? How can we stop thinking left and right and Democrat and Republican and black and white? And how can we start thinking we are coming together? I don't just mean as a nation, because I know a lot of you don't live in the United States. I mean as a world. Let's come together and love each other in new ways. Let's leave these divisions behind. They have been here too long. They're not serving any of us. It's a waste of our energy to be fighting each other like this. My friends, let's do this together. Let's envision a new world. I'm so grateful for all of you. <laughs> there is no more wonderful thing than I get to sit down with my family and look through these comments. The beautiful things you say about our videos, the beautiful stories you share from your life. It doesn't just have to be on this channel. You know, it's one of the funny things that I've enjoyed about researching Andrew Yang because I'll look on, let's say, a Fox News video and you look down and there's libertarians and Democrats and Republicans and they're all saying, wow, a lot of this really makes sense. And you start to hear that message. 
We're tired of fighting each other. Let's come together. We can do this, my friends. We can envision a new world that's going to be amazing. Let's stop the ideas that it's doomsday and just think, oh, there's no way through. Let's at least go for it. If it all falls apart, it falls apart. And that's where we'll be. But I don't think it has to. So, in the comments, share with me what you would do with that extra thousand. Because I know for us, you know, through, through our PayPal and Patreon, those of you who are patrons, we're not at a thousand a month yet, but you've gotten us close to that. And that has freed us up to be able to do this. We would not be able to do this if I was working a factory job somewhere. So we get to give our gift to the world. We get to create this together because of that support. What if you were all getting that support? And essentially, the government saying, I believe in you, I'm putting this money into your hands, and you know what to do with it best. What would you do with it? If you've checked out Andrew Yang, tell me your thoughts about him. Again, boy, treading into political territory here. And, but I want to hear your opinions and your thoughts. And the most important part of this video is that I want us to all start changing our paradigm, changing our beliefs, and realizing that if we all envision things differently, we can create a new world. I love you all. Thank you for being part of what we do. Can't wait to see what you have to say in the comments. Talk with you soon.